Welcome everyone to this episode of FTD News in History. This is where we take a look back in history and document some of the most shocking, bizarre, and very creepy stories that have happened over time. And now this one really, really blew my mind. Like I remember studying about feral children in psychology class and you know, we know characters like Tarzan and Mowgli from the Jungle Book, but this footage was just shocking to me. This girl, her name is Oksana Malaya from Ukraine. She was considered by many as a feral child. Why? Because she was raised by dogs. And this is her story. Oksana had become the main focus of many documentaries, interviews, headlines, and she was internationally known for her dog imitating behavior. <laughs> when Oksana was three years old, there weren't enough beds in the home of her alcoholic parents. And when they forgot her outside one night to keep warm, she cuddled up in the kennel with wild dogs out back. Apparently, no one even came to look for her or even noticed that she was gone. She ended up staying where they were to keep warm and share in their food. And by food, I mean, she was eating scraps and raw meat and during that time she completely forgot what it was to be a human she lost all of the little language that she had learned as a toddler and began learning how to survive in a pack of dogs Oksana was raised by those dogs until she was eight years old. And that's when a neighbor reported a child living with wild animals to the police. When she was found, she could not talk. She lacked many basic skills and physically behaved like a dog. She ran on all fours, she barked, she slept on the floor, she ate like a dog, and she took care of her hygiene just like a dog, you know, using her tongue. She did not know what a mirror was, and she showed no recognition that the reflected image in the mirror was herself. This lack of self-awareness makes her, in some respects, more like an animal than a human. It's reported that she did see humans from afar and occasionally went into her family home like any stray dog would. But to Oksana, her real family was not her human family at all. I can't even imagine what would be going through somebody's mind like that. You know, you're a child and all I can remember is being a human. All I know how to do is be a human. Eventually, Oksana was transferred to a foster home for mentally disabled children and went through years of specialized therapy and education in an attempt to figure out her behavioral, social, and educational issues. There was very little documentation about her psychological state when she was found. So what is known about Oksana, aka the dog girl, has just been passed down by word of mouth through doctors and the people who cared for her. From the latest reports, Oksana is now 32 years old and she can communicate like a human. She doesn't bark or whine like a dog anymore. Currently, she works at a farm milking cows, but is still a little intellectually impaired. I could imagine like years of living like a dog and now you have to be trained to be what you're supposed to be, a human, definitely would take a toll on your mind. A British child psychologist, Lynn Fry, who is also an expert on feral children, decided to go to Ukraine to see how well, if at all, Oksana integrated into society. Now, after a series of tests, Mrs. Fry found out that Oksana had a mental capacity of a six-year-old child. She could count, but she couldn't add. She couldn't read or spell her name correctly. She had learning difficulties, but she was not autistic, as children raised by animals are sometimes assumed to be. So, how did she learn to speak at all? Well, according to experts, unless a child learns how to speak by the age of five, the brain misses its chance to acquire language. But Oksana was able to learn to talk again because she still had some knowledge of speech before she was abandoned to the dogs. Although she somewhat knows the difference between what is socially acceptable, she still goes into the woods alone when she's upset and she knows she shouldn't bark, but she can if she wants to. Dr. Fry says that Oksana seems to be happy looking after the cows on the farm and she has since been reunited with her father. So as she continues to develop into a human being, we don't know how much further she can actually get. But it's going to be interesting to see as she continues to live her life. And that concludes this episode of FTD News in History. If this is your first time here, hit that subscribe button. You don't want to miss any of these videos. We cover topics from the most shocking, bizarre, and some of the most creepiest things that you will ever hear. As well as on this channel, we do daily news videos on the craziest things that are going on in the world. So there's a little bit of something here for everybody. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in another video. 
Hope you enjoyed this episode of the Dog Girl. If you want more stories about unbelievable women in the past, you can check out this episode on Elizabeth Bathory or the Blood Countess. She's been dubbed the most evil woman in human history. You gotta check out that video to find out why. Or here's one of our shorter videos documenting the hairiest girl that you will ever see. You can find out more about her condition. You don't wanna miss any of these videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.